Good evening, I'm Chris Whaley, and it's my very distinct pleasure to welcome you to Rome State Community College's annual awards night. Awards night has been an important part of the college since 1971, the year that the institution was first open. As we honor the best and the brightest of our student body for the 2019-2020 academic year, we are also marking the official start of the countdown to another successful year, albeit a little bit different one for obvious reasons. I offer my congratulations sincerely to all of our honorees for your excellent, excellent work. We are so proud of our students here at Run State Community College. This year's Outstanding Achievement and Art Award goes to Lauren Douglas. The 2020 Writing Learning a Sport Award goes to Kayla Paul. This year's Beulah Davis Outstanding Freshman Writer Award in Literary Analysis goes to Jesse Slagle. This year's Beulah Davis Outstanding Freshman Writer Award in Expository Writing is awarded to Chantal Fleming. The 2020 Beulah Davis Outstanding Freshman Writer Award in Research is awarded to Haley Quinn. This year's Outstanding Musician Award is given to Cheyenne Bowman and Jessica Fisher. The 2020 Outstanding Actor Award goes to Kaylee Hagens. This year's Humanities Award recipient is Madison Folks. This year's Excellence in Spanish Award is given to Claire Vaughn. I'm Patricia Jenkins and I'm the Dean of Health Sciences at Rome State Community College. It's my honor to recognize the award recipients for the nine awards in the Health Sciences Division. The first award is the Christine Mills Award. The recipient of that award is Alicia Mundy. The next award is the June Bilbrey Nursing Award. The recipient of the June Bilbrey Nursing Award is Chad Davis. The third award is the Nursing Merit Award. The recipient is Brianna Skopic Hall. The fourth award is the Tennessee Nurses Association Leadership Award. The recipient of that award is Amber Judkins. The next award is the Heck Award for Innovation and Creativity in Design. The recipient of the Heck Award is Natalie Peck. Next is the McFadden Occupational Therapy Assistant Alliance Award. The recipient is Kat Chenander. The next award is the Occupational Therapy Assistant Outstanding Student Award. The recipient is Tanya McNamara. The next award is Outstanding Health Information Technology Student Award. The recipient is Jessica Poor. The last award for the Health Sciences Division is the Opticianary Student of the Year Award. The recipients of this award is Brittany Gann and Cheryl Hicks. This is uh, Dr. Don Lanza, uh, the Dean of the Social Science, Business and Education Division. The very first award is the Outstanding Criminal Justice Student Award. Uh, that's the uh, Criminal Justice Program. Elizabeth Lewis is the uh, Program Director for that. The uh, winner for the Outstanding Criminal Justice Student is Gracie York. Uh, we'd like to congratulate her. The first education award is the AAUW Education Award. Uh, that's the American Association of University Women. 
Uh, the winner of that award is Erica Green. The next uh, education award is the Roan State Community College Education Award. The winner is Michaela Harrison. The next education award is the Krista McAuliffe Education Award, and it is presented to Geo Duran. The next award is for the Environmental Health Technology Program, and the award is the Environmental Health Technology Program Student of the Year, and Megan Satterfield is the winner for that award. The Academic Excellence in Geospatial Studies, and the award winner for that one is Laura McKeon. Congratulations to her. And the next GIS Award is the Outstanding GIS Student Award. Jess Watson is the recipient of that award. The next award is for the Paralegal Studies Program. This particular award has a, a new title this year. It's the Pope Cooley Pioneer of Law Paralegal Studies Outstanding Student. Many of you may be aware that uh, Attorney Pope Cooley uh, passed away a few months ago, and the advisory board of the Paralegal Studies Program uh, agreed to rename this award for Pope Cooley. And the award winner uh, this year is Anna McClure. The next awards are actually for the Business Management and Accounting Program, the Contemporary Management Award. We couldn't find just one student, so we awarded two students, Sean Thomas Driscoll and then Teresa Cooper. The next award is for the Outstanding Accounting Student, Benjamin Brubaker. And then the last one for the business program is the Excellence in Business Award. The award winner for that one is Shelby Elise Chitwood. The last two awards is another split award. Uh, it's the Social Science Award, Eli Anderson and Kinsley Williams. And congratulations uh, to both of them. Hi, I'm Bruce Cantrell. I'm the Interim Dean of the Mathematics and Sciences Academic Division. And on behalf of all the faculty and staff, I would like to announce the following awards. The first award is the Anatomy and Physiology Award. Uh, the winner is Matthew West. There are two recipients for the Biology Award, Mark LaMontagne and Dusty Prater. Congratulations to both of those. Uh, the General Chemistry Award. Uh, the Chemistry Award goes up to five recipients, one for each campus which, on which the chemistry is taught. Uh, this recognizes considerable effort and support of the communities that are served by Roan State Community College. Um, for the Roan County campus, we have two award winners, Alicia Callaghan and Alexis Smith. Cumberland County, we have Kelsey Norris. And for Oak Ridge, we have Dusty Prater. Uh, congratulations to all four of our award winners. The Outstanding Organic Chemistry Award goes to Elizabeth uh, Spectrini. Uh, congratulations, Elizabeth. The Outstanding Geology Award goes to Riley Inslee. The Freshman Mathematics Award goes to Patrick Daigle. The sophomore mathematics recipient is Anthony Ciccarelli and Alexander Jenkins. The outstanding pre-engineering award goes to Shanda Hughes. The calculus-based physics award goes to Anthony Ciccarelli. Programming award goes to Matthew Hurtubis. The Cyber Defense Award goes to Eric Anderson. The Database Award goes to Matt Julian. And the Excellence in Mechatronics Award goes to Michael Overton. Again, on behalf of mathematics and scientists, faculty and staff, we would like to congratulate all of these award winners. Hello, I'm Dr. Diane Ward, Vice President of Student Learning and Chief Academic Officer and I'm proud to announce the following award recipients. The All Tennessee Academic Team, Michael Overton and Anna McClure. The president of every college that has a Phi Theta Kappa chapter in Tennessee is allowed to nominate up to two students to be on a team. 
Nominees are also contenders to be part of the All USA Academic Team. This award is based on academic achievement and service to the college and community. The 4.0 Academic Achievement Awards. Courtney Adkins, Samantha Amston, Michael Ashburn III, Shelby Chitwood, Teresa Cooper, Vanessa Delval, Samuel Flores, Jacob Futrell, Jesse Griffin, Carly Griffith, Brandon Grimes, Kaylee Hagens, Summer Hamby, Kimberly Huffman, Jacob Hewitt, Andrew Johnson, Olivia Jones, Tammy Lively, Kendall Lott, Gabrielle McCarty, Emma Norred, James Odenberger, Samuel Parrott, Mackenzie Pence, Jan Phillips, Cheryl Rodriguez, Mary Ruth Royston, and Melanie Sieber. The Learning Center Tutor Award. Recipients from Herman Michael Davis Ashburn III. From Crossville, Summer Hamby. From Oak Ridge, Chantel Bailey. The Learning Center Tutor Award recognizes a superior student who has helped a number of Run State students in their educational endeavors and learned the value of individual tutoring in the learning process. The recipient must have worked in one of the Learning Centers for at least one semester, have an overall GPA of 3.3 or higher, and have received excellent evaluations. The Jennifer Jordan Henley Award for Learning Center Excellence is the highest award that a Run State tutor can receive. The winner of the Jennifer Jordan Henley Award for Learning Center Excellence is Summer Hamby. The Run State Service Learning Award. This award was established in 2014 to recognize Run State students who have completed innovative, vital, and or unique service to their community and have demonstrated strong leadership abilities and a commitment to academic excellence. The award is given each year during the spring semester. Please join me as we congratulate our 2020 Service Learning Award winner, Mandy May. The 2020 Athletic Academic Awards for Baseball, Wyatt Traffenstedt. The Women's Basketball Award, Sarah Mickles. The Softball Award, Lauren Lawson. The Men's Basketball, Malachi Gale. And the Golf Award, Seth Treese. The Middle College Award this year goes to McKinley. Fritz. The Campus Activities Board Student Government Association of Outstanding Student Leader, Eli Anderson. I would now like to move on to our two most prestigious student awards. First, I would like to introduce you to the nominees for the Roan State Community College Outstanding Freshman Award. The nominees are Micah Fallon, Mary Iverson, Brandon Langenberg, Carissa Pilkey, Dusty Prater. Students are nominated for this award by faculty and staff, and an awards committee deliberates and makes a very difficult final selection. The award winner and nominees must be a full-time freshman with at least a 3.5 GPA or higher. There is also an emphasis on school and community activities. And again, every single one of these nominees is an outstanding freshman and an outstanding representative, representative of Run State. So now with great pride, the recipient of the 2020 Outstanding Freshman Award is Dusty Prater. 
Congratulations, Dusty, and to all the nominees on a job well, well done. Many congratulations. Each year, students are nominated for the President's Award by faculty and staff. Nominees must be full-time, graduating sophomore students who have earned 36 hours by the end of the spring semester with a grade point average of 3.5 or above. 27 of those hours must have been earned at Roan State Community College. Again, an emphasis is placed on each nominee's school and their community activities. The recipient of the President's Award will also receive a $1,000 cash award. Year after year, those of us on the selection committee talk about how difficult it is to make a decision. We have the distinct honor, you see, of talking with the very best and brightest graduating sophomores at Run State Community College, and it is always a tough decision, and this year uh, was no exception. We did not have a single student uh, who was less than outstanding this year and very, very deserving. We always say that being nominated for the President's Award is an honor in and of itself, and it is. That has been uh, no truer than it is, uh, has been this year. The stories these students shared with us could fill a ceremony of their own, and it's an honor to get to meet with them, to hear them, and it's an honor that each and every one of them represents Run State Community College. The nominees for the award serve as proof that our future is very bright, and with that, I would like to share the names of you with you of the President's Award nominees. Gioconda Gio Duran. Kendra Fati. Casey Gaines. Jesse Griffin. Summer Hamby. Kimberly Huffman. Hannah Hughes. Jacob Hewitt, Devana Stevens, Jason Wazalewski. Again, many congratulations to the nominees, and it's with great pride that I announce the winner of the 2020 President's Award is Gio Duran. Congratulations, Gio, to all of our nominees. You make us proud. We're so honored to have you at Roan State Community College. Congratulations to all our recipients. This concludes our ceremony. I would like to thank Jennifer Fugit. I'd like to thank Dr. Matt Waters for putting this together, uh, for everyone who helped make this evening possible uh, in a virtual sense. Uh, have a great evening. Thanks very much.